Welcome to Words of Power. Today's message is about Genesis 3. God had just finished making the heavens and the earth. Man and woman have been created and they are living together as a family. The serpent, the devil, has waited for the appointed or opportune time to attack mankind. Genesis 3 and 1 says this, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. The word crafty means skillful, clever. It also means trickery. The enemy came to trick Eve in the garden. He begins by asking her a question. Has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? God had only forbidden them to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The enemy introduces doubt and wants Eve to doubt God's goodness. You can let your children know that the enemy may be looking to attack them at the opportune time. Maybe when they're out with their friends, just had a victory at a school on a test, or when they are distracted. He may try to attack them with false ideologies, pride, deception about sexuality, or gender identity issues. Not everything is the enemy, and we don't want to overly focus on him. Some things are our flesh. However, we should be prepared. The enemy wants us to underestimate him so we will not fight against his tactics, but the battle is real. One thing we can do is to be watchful and pray. Jesus told this to his disciples or followers in Luke 21 and 36. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Jesus also said to be watchful and pray in Matthew 26 and 41. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. When we pray, God strengthens us. Prayer also helps us to keep our focus on him, and he keeps us in perfect peace. We should pray continually. Tell your children that they can pray on their way to school in the car, on the bus, or quietly as they're doing different activities. You can also let your children know that we have victory in Jesus Christ and the enemy is nothing to be afraid of. We must combat his tactics, however, by praying and asking God to help us. We also speak the word of God out loud, which fights the tactics of the enemy. If your child is not yet a believer in Jesus Christ, continue to share with them the word of God. Train them up in the way that they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. Stay tuned for the next video to learn more about fighting the attacks of the enemy.